Okay, greetings from Botswana. I believe this is episode 5 of the flood coming in from uh, Angola. Just received some more amazing photographs from Jao Camp. Those of you that have been following the whole story, remember that this camp had no water in front of it a few weeks ago. And now it is absolutely full. I'm still waiting for the updated graph from Rundu to see how high that second spike actually goes. But if you look at the water levels in the Caprivi strip at the bridge, you'll notice it's been sitting at a constant 4 meters, which means obviously the water hasn't dropped. And those readings are from the Divundu Bridge. The Wild Bird Trust, in association with National Geographic, have a, call it a measuring station there. And uh, you can actually go onto their website and subscribe and get the updated information. So as the flood moves further south, so do we. We can focus on Kidro Camp now, which is obviously south of Jao, and on the western side of Chiefs Island, there's uh, some incredible footage of the water pouring in there. I believe this is from the front of the camp. Check this out. Beautiful, amazing. some observations of water down the Gomorti system. This is the Gomorti River that runs on the eastern side of Chiefs Island, uh, forming the border of the Maremi Game Reserve. Water's come through there, broken through the, the what we call the buffalo fence, and it's about four kilometers south. I believe this could be localized rain, also with a combination of, of flood and um, as you can see from Kidra and Jao, the, uh, the real flood waters are uh, slowly but surely catching up with that localized rain. The water that's broken through the buffalo fence is still part of the bigger picture. It's heading down towards the what we call the Tamalakani fault line. And once it hits the fault line, it's going to head towards Mount. Okay, here with a little recap. There's still good water coming in from the Caprivi, from Rundu. It's about four meters high. It's moved all the way down past Chiefs Island, and there is water pouring in four kilometers south of the Buffalo Fence on the eastern side of Mount. There's also water that's come all the way down the whole borough system. There's a good chance it's probably breaking through the Buffalo Fence. I was going to go today. And I can't go tomorrow because the car is being serviced, but uh, hopefully the lockdown is not on Wednesday because unfortunately we have just got our confirmed cases of Corona in Botswana. Three people confirmed positive. So good chance there's a lockdown on Wednesday, um, but better to be safe than sorry. We can always check out the flood in a month's time. Be safe out there. Catch you later. Just received this photograph from Jar Camp. Good night from the Okavango Delta.